Maddie and Jimmy. Guys, welcome back to the Maddie and Jimmy live stream show. Now, a week ago, this dad duo were nervous, bright eyed, bushy tailed, entering the <laughs> Lego Masters season two competition. But now they are three challenges deep. They have given us a mysterious island cult, a glittery explosion <laughs> fairy castle, and of course, a gigantic epic beanstalk. Andrew and Damien, welcome back to the show, guys. Thanks for having us, Jimmy and Oh, yeah. guys, so pumped. What a week. Not only have you guys created three epic builds, you also are in possession of the Flash Geordie slash Golden brick. How does oh, that feel? Can we see it? Do you have it on per? <gasps> there it is. Oh my gosh! It's real. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Will you guys ever right. use that, or is it just going to have a, a permanent place in your pocket? And Andrew, uh, we could tell you that, but we'd have to kill you. So <laughs> 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 you don't have to do that. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> well, speaking, speaking of which, guys, uh, like we said, um, we're three episodes in now, and I remember this exact moment in LEGO Masters Season 1. This is where stuff starts to change. Eliminations are happening now. H how's the vibe going? Oh, yeah. yeah. Things get really serious now. It's just all of a sudden, oh, this isn't fun. Well, it's still fun, but, you know, there are consequences to not getting your build right. Absolutely. Yeah. I, could, I could hear both of your voices just get like three octaves deeper when you started talking. <laughs> yeah, look, elimination is pretty scary. Um, and, you know, we all hear about it, but then when you're actually in it, everybody takes it a lot more seriously. It's a bit scary. Absolutely. Yeah. And the emotions are high, you know, like you know, there's so much pressure and you're just this intensity there and you become such good friends with everyone. Like a lot of tears are shed. I, I totally, um, totally get it. And I swear someone has put like extra power batteries in the clocks because time just moves so much faster. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. That first build, that initial build blew us away. The Isle of Eyes. Oh. <laughs> Just magic. Uh, how did you guys come up with such a cool concept? I loved it. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's the name at all? Ah! I'm gonna I'm gonna use the words of Damien because he actually summed this up really well. He says you just start building with the bricks and the bricks just start talking to you and something happens. I love uh, um, that. I love we both that. just you know we're just building, I think um I think it was your idea, wasn't it, Damien? It got it got really crazy for a while and then he said, What yeah. about what about yeah. if you make an island with eyes? <laughs> well, it all, it all started, Andrew wanted to do sort of a Chinese sort of feel to the island. I said, yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool because we thought we had a few ideas going into the show. You know, if it's this challenge, we might do this, that sort of thing. So that was one of the things we fell back on straight away. We wanted to do sort of a Chinatown. So we thought, oh, well, let's use that idea. And we thought, oh, we need some story element to it. You know, we've got a cool theme, but there's no story. So we thought, oh, yeah. we thought about the cave, the creature living underneath. And then we got stuck on, oh, what sort of creature would live there? And we kind of didn't want to sort of make that decision. So we thought it might be cool just to leave a bit of mystery about it. So we came up with the whole eyes idea and then boom, the whole culture could just be built around that idea, which was oh, just real great. Wondering. I, I also love your story in that there's this whole island of people and there's this monster or something living underneath the, the uh, in, inside the cave and everyone's like, oh, yeah, that's just the ice. Yep, that's... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just read yeah. it and it's cool. Did you guys notice that on the uh, Jack and the Beanstalk on the castle at the top, there was the Isle of Eyes? Oh, <gasps> no. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Where and, the castle is up the top. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And also when the castle blows up, yeah, the white castle... Look carefully, there's an eye as it comes flying out. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, yeah. Easter eggs. <laughs> so they're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're everywhere. They're watching. Yeah. Always watching. In episode two, guys, you got to live out every season one Lego Masters dream who didn't get to use dynamite. Plus, I think everybody in Australia's dream, you guys got to <laughs> blow Lego up. Uh, yeah. yeah. However, you guys had um, Anna Key, I believe, was the name of her. Uh, of your oh fairy. yes. And and yeah. you ex you had to make this beautiful fairy castle. Andrew, you seem to be really struggling with was was that all an act, or, or were you really <laughs> having trouble building that girly castle? No, I had an issue with pink. I I, <laughs> I love I love purple and stuff like that, but there's the, you know the Lego pink. It's just so. <laughs> 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 
you know, I'm a dark grey guy. But but look, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And the fact that we're going to get blowing it up kind of made me feel good. But then at the end, I actually looked at it and went, "Oh, it's so pretty." Oh, oh. yeah. It was sort yeah. of like it was sort of like Barbie meets the Taj Mahal. I loved it. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I loved it. And that glitter explosion, just magic. Yeah, there is some kind of like I remember when we had to drop our thing as well. You kind of like, oh, I've got a bit of an attachment, but I am so excited to see <laughs> what happens here. It's amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. it. You're sort of torn between seeing how the explosion comes off because, well, we, you know, there are a lot of elements that we're trying to plan for to make the explosion mm -hmm. spectacular. So you want to see how that pans out. But at the same time, we did get quite attached to our build in the end. It was really pretty. Yeah. Oh, it was magic, yeah. guys. Absolutely magic. Uh, now, I actually have a viewer question um, from cool. Lewis. Now, Lewis has asked, were you guys really scared when your beanstalk was breaking? Great question. Yes, yeah. that was all very, very real. We had significant problems with that. It was really heavy, as you could see. And it just, because, you know, Jack was taking a chunk out of the base and we, as soon as we built on top, it started to get too heavy and it wasn't supported well enough. So yeah. it was actually really hard to fix. Yeah, it took a good hour, I reckon, of, of rebuilding just to get oh, that yeah. At least, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it, was, no, we uh, it was incredible watching your heart sink when uh, Brickman, I think, uh, yeah. Damien, you said, oh, well, maybe we could make the giant just be fallen on the ground. Yeah. And he said that would turn you from a hero to a zero. <gasps> yes. Um, so, hey, at least we knew where we stood, right? We knew no, what no. we had to do. So, That's exactly uh, just it. gave us some clarity. We just had to fix it. If Brickman was a superhero, his power would just be saying one sentence to turn you from complete optimism to just absolute <laughs> dread, or vice versa. Yeah. 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 Oh. He certainly knows how to put you on task. Absolutely, absolutely. Does. And guys, thank you so much, because we are like just absolutely blown away. Three builds down and we are loving it. We cannot wait to see what happens next. Thank you so much for joining us again on the Maddie and Jimmy Show. That's Thank our pleasure. You. Thank you, guys. And please, can you use Geordie's brick? Because I love seeing that guy run. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about it. We'll think about it. We'll talk yeah, about we'll it. Have, have a good we'll thing. Thanks, Thank guys. you so much, guys. See you next time. Money and Jimmy.